Now let's make some exploding barrels. You'll be able to jump onto them and then they'll start expanding out like that, inflating and they'll explode, killing you if you're nearby. So let's go do that. So this could be any object you want, but I think barrels work best for this. So put some of those in there. Then let's add a script. Now we want to think about what we want it to do. First of all, we want it to be immovable. So from events, we'll say when created. Then from physics down the bottom, set immovable true. So it won't go flying around. Next, we want it to detect when the player touches it. Then it'll start inflating. So from physics, we want when I am touched, get toucher. Then we want to ask if the toucher has that tag player. So for control flow, we want if do. And then from sensing, we want myself has tag, tag name, get rid of myself. From variables, we want instance toucher. So we're asking if toucher has tag, and then in here we can type player. And if it was the player, oh, we could also check if the bullet touched it. So that might be cool, so we could shoot them as well. So uh, what we want to do here is ask if it was the player or if it was the bullet. The keyword there is or. So we need an or block from operators. Starts out as and, grab that. Change that to or and drag that toucher has tag player into there. Now duplicate that, put that in the other side of the or. And this one will rename to bullet. So if it was the bullet or the player that touched this barrel, then what do we want it to do? Well, we want it to start inflating. So we'll make a function for that from functions. Let's call that inflate. And then we'll go back into functions and grab the inflate function. Put it in the if block. Now what do we want inflate to do? Well this is where we'll get the barrel to expand a little bit before it blows up, just so you've got enough time to run away. Uh, we want it to increase its scale, so let's go to transform, set scale x, grab that, and we want it to keep increasing. So this function is going to increase the scale and then tell itself to run again. So we we'll set the scale to scale x plus 0 0.01, so it'll increase by 1%. Go to transform grab scale x of myself and then from operators we want that plus block and we want to say scale x of myself plus 0 0.01 so that'll make it a little bit bigger same thing for the y axis we want it to scale vertically as well and lastly we want this inflate function to tell itself to keep inflating so from control flow let's say uh, use that 100 milliseconds have passed block but we'll do this in 10 milliseconds, so it'll happen really quickly. And then back from functions, we want inflate. So as soon as we trigger that inflate function, it'll just keep expanding. Let's test that. Close that, save it, call it exploding barrels. So that's how they behave. Now notice how they just keep expanding.